This one's for the early morning massive, and not the people who talk about their routine in an interview in Stylist magazine, hopping out of bed at 6.15 to a goji berry smoothie in an open plan kitchen, whereas the sun rises, it feels like anything can happen. This is for the morning massive who tumble out of bed like the Kraken being released from its cage. Eyes still half shut from a night stress dreaming about paying sky high bills on the minimum wage. This one's for all the working parents, falling out the door with a kid in each hand and bits of toast in their hair, and the fading memory of a time they could share a quiet cup of tea with a partner. For those battling depression, a night so stressful it feels like an eight hour algebra lesson, except you learn nothing, just get used to staring wide eyed at the ceiling, wishing at times you were incapable of feelings because it would be easier than this. For the full-time problem sharers, the long-term carers, struggling on, feeling filled with despair, but getting up and getting out there because other people need you more than you need to sleep. For the deep thinkers, the midweek drinkers, sinking to their knees on the bedroom floor, wishing last night had stopped before the fourth pint, which everyone knows is the danger number. For the dreamers and the schemers, clocking out at nine to five because they have a vested interest in eating food, paying bills and staying alive until the book's published, the record's released or the app takes off. For everybody pulling on odd socks, constantly snoozing the alarm clock, frying an egg in a wok because there's nothing else that's clean. For those having a cereal bar at the station, flicking through the metro, get increasingly alarmed at the state of the nation, but taking solace in the fact that Katy Perry has a new hairdo. The last minute makeup adjusters, the cleaners dreaming of a life without dusters, and are perpetually late for work. Take comfort that this day won't last forever. Let's not make things worse, we're in this together. Smile at your fellow traveller and wish them a good day. We are the sleep deprived, petrified, iPhone addicted, head fried, morning massive. And we're here to seize the day.